From the very opening of the European session, the foreign exchange market has been preparing for a further dollar's rally. Nevertheless, European traders are rather uncertain. After all, over the past few days, the US dollar has been gaining in value without any pullbacks. Accordingly, market participants are awaiting a correction. However, a correctional movement is unlikely. After hitting a fresh yearly low, the euro-dollar pair's decline has slowed down. If the price fixes below the level of 1.1700, the euro will most likely extend losses. Currently, the quote is trading sluggishly just below the key level of 1.17. Short interests still persist in the market. However, the volume of short positions will become even greater in case the price fixes below 1.1680 on the daily chart. As for the pound sterling, the currency came under stronger downward pressure from data on UK retail sales, British retail sales, and expectantly fell by 2.5% in July, while economists predicted a 0.4% month-on-month increase. Such a decline in consumer activity signals further weakness in the economy. This news puzzled investors who assumed that Britain's central bank would be the first to dare to tighten monetary policy. Thus, the pound sterling continues to slide against the US dollar. The currency has lost more than 250 pips since the beginning of the week. Such a steep downward movement led to an almost complete recovery of the downward movement from the upward cycle posted between July 21 and July 30. Put simply, market sentiment has turned bearish. Due to strong downside momentum in the market, the pound sterling has entered oversold territory. However, this may lead to a slowdown and then a technical pullback. Notably, the local law of 1.3570 posted on July 20 is seen as the main pivot point. And that's all for now. We keep monitoring the financial market situation. Subscribe to our channel and see you in several hours. We will take a close look at the US trading session.